welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we're going to continue with our series of the Goodreads Awards and I had so much fun with these lists because I got to see what I did read and what I didn't read which I was really sad about the didn't read list but you know what? It just gives me some incentive not only to read these books that I didn't get a chance to read but then for next year like to make sure that I am keeping up even more on these books and going to my Goodreads <laughs> and figuring it out month by month because the months go by way too fast. So anyway, today we are doing historical fiction and I read a lot of these. Unlike the last category in that thriller, mystery thriller category, oh my god, like I, I and I, like I said, I thought I read so many thrillers last year, this year. But anyway, moving on. Here we go. Best historical fiction of the year, according to Goodreads. Okay? Up on your screen, you're going to see The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. I did not get to this book yet, but that's okay. I already have it. This book is going down. Okay? That's happening. Uh, the Immortalis by Chloe Benjamin. I did not get to this book. I don't even have it. I gotta get it. When I saw this, I was like, I don't even have this book. So um, at least I have. Along with this next book, The Clockmaker's Daughter by Kate Morton, I have this book. It's all good. It's it's loaded. It's, it's gonna happen, okay? Uh, Where the Crawdads Sing, Del Delia Owens. Delia. Delia. Why did I say Delia? Delia Owens. Okay, I read this and I, you know, I've been talking to other authors and readers and so many people think this was like the book of the year. So I don't know. I did love it. I mean, I'm going to put my um, review down there. I did not get to talk to her, but I got finished with that book and I was like, oh my God. And it was her first book. Isn't that crazy? You know what I see? That I have this like hair. Look at just standing straight up. Ah. Oh my God, I think I have more. It's like the light is reflecting off of it. Whatever. Okay, moving on. Next year in Havana. Oh, I talked to Chanel. Love her. Love this book so much. Ah. I'll post it underneath. Next, The Map of Salt and Stars by Jennifer Zainab Jakaidar. I don't even know how you sell it. I'm not even going to try. Whatever. You know what? I never even heard of this book. So that's interesting. I will be checking that out. Uh, next one, Transcription by Kate Atkinson. I actually did read that book. Yay. Yay me. I read it. Didn't get to talk to her, but read it. And um, yeah, it goes up there. Um, it, you know, a lot of these books were already on the New York Times bestseller. Some of them aren't, but that doesn't mean they're not amazing. So, but transcription definitely was. War Light by Michael, here we go, Andechi? I don't know. I don't want to mess it up. Anyway, nope, didn't get to read this one. Summer Wives, Beatrice Williams, one of my favorite authors. She's one of the W's who write books all the time. And no, I didn't read it yet. I really want to though. It's I have it and I didn't get to it and I'm so sad about that. When I saw it up there I was like these are almost like harsh reminders of what's on my Kindle. It's, it's almost I feel like I'm getting graded. Like I'm getting punished for what I didn't get to read and I will. I swear to God Beatrice I am definitely reading it. My Dear Hamilton by Stephanie Dre and Laura Kamoe. I did not. I was supposed to talk to Stephanie Dre and then it didn't happen. And then what happens is then I line up other authors and I start reading other stuff. But I'm definitely going to read this one. I, it pains my heart on these historical fiction. Like seriously pains me because I love historical fiction so much. Unsheltered Barbara King's love solver. King solver. Nope. Didn't get to it yet, but will. I think it's still on the New York Times bestseller. So those lists, like I check them out every Thursday. And, you know, the ones of the authors that I just know, like that I buy them right away. It's, I got them right away. That's one I have. 
Next, The Tuscan Child by Reese Bowen. Yes, yes, I talk to Reese all the time, and I get to talk to her next week again for her Christmas book. Love her so much. The Tuscan Child was amazing. I'll put it below. Um, Fruit of the Drunken Tree by Ingrin Coes Contreras. Okay, I never even heard of that, so I will look it up. Uh, Love and Ruin by Paula McLean. I did not get to read this yet. I am definitely reading that though. Ugh. Okay. White Rose Black Forest, Owen Dempsey. If you have ever watched my interviews with Owen, I've done three of them now and I love him so much. He's like my favorite historical fiction. He writes a book, I'll read it. That's basically what it's like. And he is so funny. Oh, I love my interviews with him. And he has another one. I think he's got another one coming out at the beginning of next year. Now he's writing full time. And if you watch the first interview, when I interviewed him, I told him he needs to write full time. He was teaching at the time in Philly. I was like, Owen, oh, quit your job, write full time. And he did. So I kind of take credit for it. Probably not, but that's okay. Um, War of the Wolf by Bernard Cornwell. Didn't even hear of that. So I'll look it up. I I'd never heard of that one. Bella Weather by Susanna Kearsley. Never heard of it. I can't believe like there are books that I, especially like being on social media as much as I am, you'd think I'd hear of, at least hear of them, right? The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hell by Robert Dugoni. Ah, oh, this book. It, and I've read a couple of his books and I've interviewed him. I'm going to post it below. But like when I was interviewing him, I told him that I was just going to give him a standing ovation for this one because there are no words to how good that book is. Okay, so if you have not read it, you have, just, I'll put, the, I'll put the link below. It's truly his best work, okay? Um, the Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay. Never heard of it. And, oh my God, we're already, I did that so fast. I'm so impressed with myself. The winner, and pretty much deserves it, Kristen Hanna with The Great Alone. Because that book was amazing. It was long, but it was so good. I'm going to put my uh, review of that below because, no, I did not get to talk to Kristen. But, um, you know, that's another thing. Like, I want to get to talk to some of these. I'm going to, like, look some of these up, see if I can talk to these authors before we start the new year, which is coming way too quick. But um, thank you for watching, everyone. I think there's only one more category. I don't know. I'll look at it. One or two, maybe two more categories. But I love looking at these books. It's so much fun. I love lists. So everyone, thank you. Thank you. Please um, hit like if you enjoy me doing book lists. And I put out videos every single day. Subscribe. And um, have a great day, everyone.